Israeli ground operations are expanding in Gaza, including the rescue of a soldier taken hostage by Hamas. Now, with Israel launching what they call their second stage of the war, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that a ceasefire would be the same as surrendering to Hamas. Lee Seung just off. An Israeli soldier who was kidnapped by Hamas during the October 7th attack has been rescued as the Israeli Defense Forces, Special Forces and the Shin Bet Intelligence Agency conducted a ground operation in Gaza on Sunday night. Private Yuri Megadish is the first soldier rescued by Israel since more than 200 people, including dozens of Israeli soldiers, were taken by Hamas. Megadish was a member of a unit of female soldiers in charge of monitoring the Gaza border via surveillance cameras. The Israeli military says she's in good health and has met with her family. Despite the international community calling for a humanitarian ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel will not agree to a ceasefire as it would be equivalent to surrendering to Hamas and terrorism. During a press conference on Monday, the prime minister went on to condemn Hamas for trying to destroy the promise of Israel's future. He added that just as the United States would not agree to a ceasefire after the bombing of Pearl Harbor or the September 11 terrorist attack, Israel will continue to fight. Meanwhile, the Israeli military announced on Monday that it had sent additional troops to the Gaza Strip as it strengthened ground operations in the Palestinian enclave. In a statement released by the military, it said that additional troops were deployed as it looks to achieve its war goals. In addition, the military announced that the head of the IDF Southern Command, Major General Yaron Finkelman, went into the Gaza Strip to assess the ground combat situation. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.